Hello once again, I'm going to be showing you today how to use Rockstar Editor for uh, videos like cinematics, rolling clips, promotional videos, just anything other than normal screenshots. Just give me a sec while I load in Flow State Roleplay. The uh, link to Flow to State Roleplay will be in the, the description. May change names in between now and whenever you're watching, but still be the uh, same community or update links or whatever. Give me a sec while I load in. You're gonna want to turn up most of your graphics just so it looks better if you're if you're taking them for a specific thing or if it's just for role play. You know, you already have it. That should be fine. So once you have whatever scene you want set up, give me a second while I choose some random. Alrighty, I'm gonna go with this. So when you have it ready, just make sure you get everything sorted before you take it. Do not go in first person, otherwise you will not be able to change the camera. That uh, that helps a lot. So just press start recording whenever you're ready. Doesn't matter where you're really looking, unless because you'll probably change it. I'm just gonna drive under here. Probably get some nice rolling clips of this. Take off like this. Alright, that should be good. Alright, so the best way to do this is to leave Rockstar. I mean, 5M, my bad. Because sometimes it crashes when you load in clips. If you. I'll just do it normally, if it crashes I'll just switch on, go create new project, add clip, whatever clip you just took, you have the dates, there'll be a little, uh, you see the little photo, that helps, so this is the one I just took, go into that one, go into it again, just wait for it to load. If you're wondering on how to take screenshots, I have another video for that. I also, if you noticed, I have custom sign packs and custom um, graphics mods. Right, there we go, get crash in a second. They'll also be in the description, so it won't be as good as mine with your game. Alright, I'm back. This is a good way to show you, so pretty simple, but if you don't know, go on a replay at ever. Just wait for it to load, I'll probably skip the spot. Alrighty, same thing as before, top ones of everything because they're my recent. Just keep selecting them, now we'll just wait for this to load. Alright, so your timeline down the bottom here. So if you do this, this will cut it. So you won't be able to use any of that. I just keep it like that. I cut it later. Um, you can use these to play and skip, or you can use the buttons down here, as, as you can see. So you want to go camera. Normally with this, I go free camera. I select shake, so it's not always still, so it looks a bit different. And this will keep all of the uh, next ones with the same options. Do the blend mode is how the camera moves. So if you want it just to cut to the next scene, you would do none. If you want it to go straight to the scene, you'll do this one. And then if you want like a smooth, smooth transition, you'll go that one. The uh, move with the player basically moves the camera with you, as you can see. Alright, and then look at the player, just kind of keeps it on. So normally I would do something like this. I would go all the way down here, like 
this. And then I would, oh, sorry if it's a bit too fast. I go to where you next want it to cut, or where the area is, you press enter on it. And then you go to camera, you go edit camera, and then move it again to where you got the second part. Alright, I press spacebar to pause, press enter to edit my camera. If there's objects like this in the way for the uh, view, it won't, it won't work. Sometimes with the uh, camera because it's on smooth, it doesn't um, work that well, so I sometimes put it on the linear doesn't say up exactly where you want it. Alright. That's not that smooth, but I'll just keep it as out for now. Alright, now let's say I want it to go back here. Actually, I'll keep Alrighty, I'm going to make this a cut right here just so it goes straight to the, uh, the tire. So I go none, and then I'll cut it, it won't smooth or anything, it'll just go straight. So it goes straight to the tire. I'll put on uh, move with player and then rig. This means it will stay exactly where I'm looking, as you can see. And then I'll cut it again with no transition. I'll keep it on rigged. I'll put it on maybe about here. You also have your effects here, which change your view, all that. I normally don't do them, but some of them look alright, like this one maybe, but they don't, I know, don't normally use them for uh, videos. Your saturation, change the color, etc. Alright. There is also a field of depth if you turn it on in your settings, which are blurs, distance stuff, you know. It's pretty good, but I don't use it much. The speed, you can make it slow-mo. Make it a bit slow-mo here for you. As you can see, I'll turn that off now. Alrighty, sorry if I'm just trying to show people stuff, they might not <laughs> That is my custom custom siren pack, sorry about that. I will put a link in the description on how to install them and download them. They also have custom guns, gun packs for like your shots, uh, tasers, all that stuff. Alright, so I believe there is an export button once you save it. But for me, I use OBS because it's easier for me. I just go to the start, I press H and my mouse out of the way, and then I play it like this. So normally you can just export it, I'll show you how to do that in one second. But I normally just do this and then record my uh, screen with OBS Studios. So as you can see it just cut straight to there, it didn't transition nicely. And do it again. Sometimes it's good, but sometimes it's good. You want to press save most of the time. If you want to uh, export, pick your frame rate, bit rate, and then export the video. Whatever name, press OK. Then you're just going to wait for this to load. So that is basically how you use Rockstar Editor for videos. You can use it for smooth the shots, but um, I was not using it for that. Oh my goodness. So once you export it, you should be able to find it in your directory somewhere, like your screenshots, if you don't use, um, if you use normal F12 and other. But otherwise I use 
Share X for screenshots. I use mid graphics great again for my lights on that. And I use OBS Studios to record. I'll link all of them in the description. This video was on Florida State Roleplay. I'll also link that in the description. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.